Hello, um, my name is Catherine Haggerty. I am the co-founder of New York City Crit Club, as well as faculty and the current director of the program. I am really excited to introduce um, a really exciting, much needed, um, and brand new course. And that is called the MFA Preparation and Expectations. Um, this is an eight week course that's held on Zoom. So it is uh, great for anyone around the country or even the globe who is interested in the idea or the prospect of going to graduate school. Um, you know, the class is eight weeks, it covers a lot. And I wanna explain a little bit about who's gonna be visiting and what the goals are. First and foremost, I think graduate school for one's MFA or MA is terrific. Um, I went to Rutgers MFA in 2009, 10, and 11. And I had a pretty good experience and it really taught me a lot. Um, I'm not really um, interested in this course or any project I lead or help run being an advocate for one solution. I think the core impetus of this project and of course this course is to just give people more information and help them be better prepared. Um, New York City Crick Club itself is kind of like a post school. It's a place to learn after you go to grad school. It's a place to learn before perhaps you go or you never go to either BFA or MFA and you take a course with us. So we are kind of like a long, um, you know, enduring project throughout one's life that you can always jump in, take a class and reconnect with a mentor or a bunch of friends. So that's what we are. Um, but this course I really wanted to build because I kept hearing from so many artists that they wanted to know if they were ready and where to go and how to get in. And then also how to deal with if you didn't get in um, or what are the avenues to best prepare yourself for application season. So um, I built this course with that in mind, just to give more information, not to persuade, of course, and not to even encourage one way or the other, but just to help people better understand um, what are expectations, what are levels of preparation, how do we challenge those things? How do we come prepared? Um, and of course, along the way, like everything in New York City Crit Club, it's community based. Um, you'll meet tons of people and that's the coolest part. So um, in this eight week course that meets on Monday evenings from seven to 9 p.m. Eastern via Zoom, again, open to anyone across the country, across the globe, um, you will be able to meet with um, five to six department chairs of current MFA programs that I personally know well and really want to support um, and give, you know, an, an additional platform for. Um, you'll hear and meet with the um, graduate chair at Boston University, which is Josephine Halverson, an amazing artist represented by Sikaman Jenkins in Chelsea. Um, just an incredible, incredible artist and mentor and teacher and educator. Um, Josephine will join the call and talk to us about Boston University's MFA program. Um, Hanalina Rogberg, who is an intermittent chair and faculty, full faculty at Rutgers MFA, will also join the call and talk about Rutgers MFA, which is my alumni and also just a great program as well. George Rush will join from Ohio State MFA, Joshua Bianco from UT Knoxville MFA, and um, Lisa Mexen, who is the current Director of Graduate Studies at Cornell MFA. So we've got a really great lineup of people that run departments, giving you inside looks about the cadence, the speed, the studio size, the philosophy of the program, um, what to expect, what to um, understand our limitations, or perhaps um, that there are no limitations, um, that the program is, is sort of differently aligned than you might think. So that's awesome. That's gonna be a huge part of the course. Um, and each uh, visitor will come for about an hour to you know, hour 20 minutes um, to every other class about. Um, and in between that, we're also gonna have visitors from recent MFA alumni programs such as Yale, RISD and Columbia. These artists actually were all in NYC Career Club and then went to grad school, which was awesome. And we did whatever we could to help support them and give them mentorship before they went and prepare them for the crit that they, the crits that they would have had, um, they did terrific and now they're out. So I thought it'd be really great for you all to hear from people that have gone to the graduate school, but at different, you know, at different institutions. So um, in addition to that, we're also gonna have one person or maybe two that joined that thought they were gonna go to graduate school and then ended up thinking that they didn't really need it. And so they stopped going, they um, kind of like dropped out, but are now having great success and feeling really excited. So. 
you know, again, the core mission of the class is just to educate people, give people perspectives, understand better expectations, um, sort of the system of the MFA, what to do when you're in it, what to do when you're out, and how to get in. So the how to get in part is, of course, the most important part for anyone who's interested. Now, this class is really good for someone who's got work, you've got a portfolio, but you don't know the order of the images. You don't know if you should show two different bodies of work, or you don't know if you should show mixed media as well as your sculpture, like what have you. These are questions I see all the time. So what we're gonna do in this course is have breakout pod groups. And those small group breakout um, sort of meetings will happen twice. And in lieu of meeting in class weeks three and seven, I believe, you'll meet with a faculty advisor. And so I'm really excited to have Yevgenia Baras join us um, as the uh, co-faculty advisor along with myself. Um, and so artists will be able to meet with Yevgenia or myself to do portfolio reviews in small groups of four or five max. And those three hour portfolio reviews will be wonderful because you'll be able to see what other people are applying with. And then you'll show what you think you should apply with. We'll talk about the work, we'll give critique on the work, but we'll also help you maybe shift a little bit of the direction or hone in one area or the other. Um, Evgenia Boros is an amazing artist, an exceptional educator. She's been teaching within our program for three years um, and has designed wonderful courses called Material Abstraction and Drawing Towards Abstraction. Um, Evgenia has been um, a, a, a visiting professor and lecturer at Sarah Lawrence College, um, UPenn, tons of universities, and currently does um, part-time work um, as a part-time lecturer at RISD. Um, Evgenia is an amazing artist, a Guggenheim Fellow, a Paula Krasner recipient, um, and is really discerning in a positive but critical way and can absolutely uh, be such a voice of, um, you know, critical but positive feedback. So um, the class is going to be eight weeks. You will have two breakout groups of small groups of four or five, one that will be on your portfolio and like the work and the images and the order, and then the other meeting will about be about writing statements, um, how you frame your desire to go to school, what to say, what not to say, you know, things like this that might be, you know, good advice to kind of listen to. Um, so the course is complex, it's um, intense, but it's definitely meant for people who are interested in going or maybe are just not sure if they want to go and then they just want to hear a ton of feedback from graduate directors and alumni and even current MFA artists. Um, so yeah, I built this course really specifically for people with this question in mind. I am positive it will be valuable. I am so excited to have Boston University, Rutgers, University, Ohio State, UT Knoxville, Cornell, um, join our call and talk about their amazing programs as well as alumni from RISD, Yale, Columbia, um, and much more. Um, so that's the class. It's gonna be really great and I hope you sign up. Um, it has a cap of 18 to 20 people in the class. Um, you can expect to present your work um, twice briefly to the class, um, kind of the art of practicing how to show three to four images and you know four minutes of what you are interested in is in itself its own practice. And so you'll get that opportunity as well, um, but you'll predominantly have breakout groups with small intensive conversations where you'll be able to expand the dialogue on your specific work um, during the classes run. All right, that's it, I think. Any questions, of course, you can always email us at NYC Crit Club or even myself uh, personally at Katherine Haggerty, um, 17 at Gmail. You can find me easily. So um, I look forward to working with you all and tell a friend about the project or the class if you're just interested in learning more. As always, we have financial aid or BIPOC scholarships available if needed and desired. Um, all of that is on our website um, public and we can always help in any way possible. So. Thank you for supporting the program and taking a listen. See you soon.